Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, cinematic slow motion title trailer effect, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called main comp. Then create a new solid background layer. Now apply gradient ramp effect. Change the start color dark blue, and end color black and change ramp shape radial ramp. Now select the text tool and type your text, and turn off the text layer. Now create a new solid, this is called element cinematic. Then search element 3D effect. You can download element 3D from video copilot website. Now go to custom layers and open custom text and mask. Then go to path layer 1 and select our cinematic text layer. Now go to scene setup, then you will see a window like this. Then click on extrude, here you can see our text. Select the bevel 1, and change some setting here. Go to basic setting, and change specular multiplier, around 50%. Now go to presets. Then go to materials, and select the physical, and choose chrome. You can apply it by double clicking. Here you can see our preset has applied, then again go to scene materials. And select chrome, and change some setting here. First change material type standard shader. Then go to texture and select specular. Then click load texture. And select the metal texture image. And you can also adjust the input levels according to your choice. Then go to basic setting and change specular around 0 0.80 and specular shininess around 1.5 then go to reflection and change intensity 100% and blend mode normal then go to refraction and change blend mode normal perfect. Our scene setup is ready. Here you can see our text. Now apply glow effect on element layer. Change glow threshold around 30%. Glow radius around 50. And glow intensity 0.5 cool. Now create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Now we need to animate element 3D cinematic layer, so go to group 1, and open particle look. Then open multi object. And check enable multi object, here we have some setting, now first we need to change the rotation random around 300. And add a keyframe, here you can see our text, then go to around 2 and half second forward, and change the rotation random 0. Now change displace XYZ. I want to change X displace, so go to first frame and add a keyframe on X displace and change amount around 1.2, this will give a spacing between each of our words. Then go to the next keyframe, and change the displace 0. 
Now go to scatter XYZ, then go to the first frame. And change the Z scatter around 100. Then go to the next keyframe. And change the Z scatter 0. Here you can see the effect. Cool. Now select camera layer, and hit P for position, and add a keyframe on 2 and half second forward, then go to the first frame and change Z position, so that our text goes out of the frame. If text not goes out of the frame, like this, so select element 3D cinematic layer, and change the Z scatter around 50. Perfect. Now select the last camera position keyframe, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now, we have to separate of this M word, so first duplicate the cinematic text layer. And rename the layer. Turn on the text layer. And delete everything except the M word. Similarly, we will do it in our second text layer as well. So delete the M word. And give spacing here. So that our M word is easy to adjust here. Then turn off both text layers. Now we need to duplicate element 3D layer. Rename the layer, so that we can easily identify it. Then select element M layer, and go to custom layers. Then expand custom text and mask. And select path layer 1. And choose the text M layer. Cool. Now we need to adjust the element M layer, so move the element M layer few frame forward, so that the rest of our text comes first, and it comes later. And you can also adjust the keyframe anytime. Now go to the first keyframe on element layer and change Z scatter around 100. Cool. Now select element cinematic layer, and move it backward. So that our cinematic word can come to our screen quickly. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our text animation has complete. Now we need to do other works, so go to project window, and here we have some elements. So first drag flare image into the timeline, and change blend mode normal to screen, then apply glow effect, and change the glow threshold around 50%, glow radius around 400, now add wiggle expression on opacity. Wiggle bracket 8, 20 and bracket close. This will give our flare a flicker effect. Perfect. Now we need one more flare on right side, so create a new solid layer, it's called flare. Then apply optical flares effect. You can download this from Video Copilot website. And change the layer mode normal to screen, and move the flare right side of the composition. And change the brightness around 350. And change the color. Now add fast blur effect. 
blur radius around 30, and check repeat edge pixels. Then apply turbulent displace effect, so it will give it a more natural look. So change amount 100, and size 50. You can adjust the flare according to your choice. Now here we have some more elements. So drag smoke element into the timer line. And change mode normal to screen. Then go to first frame, and change the opacity 0% and add a keyframe. Then go to around few second forward and change opacity 70%. Then go to again few second forward and change the opacity 0%. Cool. Now add fire spark element. And change mode normal to screen. Then add another spark element, and change mode normal to add. I think we also change the fire spark mode, screen to add. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to give our composition bluish look, so create a new solid layer. And change the color dark blue. And change layer mode normal to exclusion. Here you can see. Now do some color correction, so create an adjustment layer, and rename the layer, then apply curves effect. And make your curves like this. Perfect. Now create one more adjustment layer, and rename the layer. Then apply sharpen effect. And change sharpen amount around date. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our scene has complete, now select all layer and pre-compose. It's called scene 1. Now we need to create a slow motion effect. So select scene 1 layer, right click, then go to time and choose to enable time remapping. Then go to around few frames forward and add a keyframe. Then again go to around 1 second forward. And reverse your time a little bit. So that it gives our title slow motion effect. Perfect. Now select keyframe and easy ease them. Then select the second keyframe and easy ease out. Then select last keyframe and easy ease in. Cool. You can adjust the keyframe anytime according to your choice, if you think your animation looks slow or fast. Our animation has done, hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.